Hey guys, what's going on? Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about my computer setup, my gaming setup, um, if you want to call it that. Uh, it's pretty decent. Uh, I don't spend that much money on it, which is why it's more of a budget type thing. Um, but the way I have it done is, uh, it will save you a lot of money, I think. Um, so let me turn the camera around right here and show you here. Um, here's my computer. Uh, I custom built that about probably, uh, I can't even say, um, good eight years ago. Um, and I've just been upgrading the internals as we go. Um, but it works really well. It's decent. Right now I have a GTX 560 Ti in it, which I'll be upgrading soon. Um, uh, solid state drive and an i5, I think. Intel i5, 2500, something like that. Um, here's a 22 inch monitor, I believe. And it works great for gaming, it's 1080p. Um, and then I have a wireless uh, mouse and keyboard. As I'll show you, these are both Logitech brands. Um, I highly recommend both of them. Uh, they work from quite far away, and that's a necessity for me. Uh, let's see. Oh, and on the side, I do have my, I just have one speaker, it's, but it is an HS ADM, quite a powerful little, uh, little speaker. It, uh, it retails for about 200 bucks a speaker, 400 a pair, and I do have two of them. Um, but yeah, I mean, you could get all this stuff. You don't really have to go with the wireless keyboard, wireless mouse, but um, it's all fairly cheap. I mean, none of it is extraordinarily expensive, depending on what you call expensive. But the part I want to show you, and is because a lot of people have interest in playing computer games on their in their room, you know, in their bedroom or living room. And here's something simple that you could do if you kind of have a small apartment, kind of like mine. Um, and what I have is I just have an HDMI cable going to my um, graphics card. One, um, This cable is going to go to my TV, which is on the other side of this wall. And this one just goes to my monitor right here. So when I'm playing a movie, yeah, it's kind of ghetto that it goes right through there. If you plan on having this being a permanent solution, you could obviously just drill a simple little hole in the wall um, and throw it through that way. But here it goes, just to my uh, budget TV. This is my Scepter. I've already done a review on it. It's like 300 bucks for a 1080p. And then there's my uh, other speaker. And I was just watching a movie on it but it's going to pop up here and you're going to see my display, my computer display. So it automatically detects it's HDMI and then it goes right there. And this thing works perfect. I mean, it's HDMI quality when I have good quality uh, movie going. And another thing, so I can just uh, lay on the bed, watch a movie, it's perfect. Um, if I do want to play a game, I can just set that right there, get a get something like a, a piece of ply board to hold up the wireless mouse and keyboard and just play it on this TV right here. It's a little more ghetto, but uh, it works great. Uh, let's close that for you. Um, and yeah, so a bunch of people spend a lot of money on HDMI streaming, wireless streaming or whatever it is, but honestly, I'm super happy with this setup. Uh, and if you have any questions on how to do it or um, some of the best tools to use, just feel free to ask me. I love it because when I want to play games like really intensely, I could just get here. Um, but always when I want to watch a movie, it's just turning on the TV and, uh, you know, volume control on the TV. I had no problem getting the audio in. It goes through the HDMI, obviously, and then I just have this speaker that... Um, just plugs into this uh, the audio out on the TV. Works great. Uh, very little distortion, if any. 
Um, however, just give me a uh, so yeah, give me a comment, question, anything, if you would like to do that. Thanks.